Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run OpenAlgo in the background using Docker. Many of you asked how to keep running OpenAlgo always in my windows. And the good news is uh, Docker makes that super simple. In fact, you can use Docker to run in the background uh, if you are using an uh, Windows or maybe Mac or even if you're using Linux or any other uh, platform. So we build the Docker image, run it as a container and make sure that it stays up even if your system restarts. So by end of this tutorial, you will have OpenAlgo running 24 bar 7 in the background fully managed by the Docker. So let's get into the video. Okay, we'll try to understand what Docker is all about. So Docker is the kind of a platform that helps us package software applications into a lightweight containers so that they can run any operating system, right? So you can run it in uh, Windows OS, Linux OS, or even Mac OS reliably. So at the bottom, we have a uh, Windows operating system. On top of that, we have the Docker engine. So you have to install the Docker engine. Probably you have to go and download it from the Docker portal. So go to docker.com. From there, you have to go and download the Docker desktop. Maybe if you are using uh, Windows, right, what you also need to do is like first you need to go and install the uh, WSL. So WSL hyphen hyphen install that command will install the Docker. So in my case, I had already installed. So if you go to the WSL hyphen list, you should be able to see the Docker, uh, I mean, the Windows subsystem Linux distributions you can able to find. Under that, you will you'll be finding like Docker hyphen desktop as well. Now, once this is done, you have to go and install the Docker for Windows. Once the Docker engine is started, obviously, you can run the container. A container is a running instance created from a Docker image. So first we will be building an uh, a Docker image which contains all our softwares uh, and uh, services. So from the Docker image, we will be create the live instance which is called as a Docker container, right? So the Docker containers, uh, we have everything our app needs. So in this case, in our case, it is Python along with that uh, OpenAlgo and its database. So the flow is simple. From the Docker image, we create Docker container Right, and uh, uh, the Docker container we run on top of do Docker engine. So let me try to bring the Docker engine here. So here is my Docker desktop, which is running already. And I'm gonna close it. So if I'm, even if I'm gonna close it, it's gonna run in my background. And uh, so on top of the Docker engine, our uh, OpenAlgo is gonna run uh, throughout the day, 24 bar seven. Let's see how to go and uh, build our uh, first Docker uh, uh, image and from the image how we can go and build the docker container let's try to understand all right here is my vs code now when you open in vs code right you will be finding two different files one is docker and another one is the docker compose.yaml file so let's try to understand what these files does that right so basically the docker file is the recipe to build open algo image so it is the one which tells you which Ubuntu version that you're going to run and what is your Python version that you're going to run, what are the Python libraries that you have to install, or what are the supportive uh, softwares which is required to run your applications, configuration instructions, which port OpenAlgo has to run, WebSocket web your uh, OpenAlgo has to run, or uh, it should be running in uh, Gunicon, or it should be running in a uh, uh, regular WSG server. So all these configuration instructions is what uh, you will be having it in Docker file. Whereas the Docker Compose, so this is uh, more of an uh, orchestration uh, file which says like uh, how to run the images, right? So from the Docker Compose is what we will be actually building the Docker images. So let's try to see how to build an uh, Docker image. Now, even before building the Docker image, we have to go and set up the .env file, which is very, very important. So I had set up my broker API key and API secret and also my broker name. So followed by that, I have to ensure that I'm also setting up the host server, which is by default, it is like 127.0.0.1 colon 5000. And uh, the most important thing is like, I have to set the host IP, I have to expose like 0.0.0.0, .0 which means I'm just, uh, uh, exposing my Docker IP to access in my Windows. Same thing I have to set for uh, WebSocket host as well. This has to be changed from default value to 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. The same thing for 
ZMQ host as well. So all these three changes has to be done. And all those things you can find it in the documentation of OpenAlgo. If you go to docs.openalgo.in, right? So from there, you can go to the getting started section. From there, you can reach the Docker development. You can see the .env configuration instructions, right? Once this setting is done, now next what we're gonna do is like, we're gonna build the Docker image. Let's go and build the Docker image. All right, now we are back to our uh, VS code. So I'm inside the OpenAlgo root application. So I'm gonna go and uh, create an uh, Docker build is what I'm gonna do. So Docker hyphen compose build hyphen hyphen no hyphen cache. The no hyphen cache will ensure that you are building a fresh image. And then I'm gonna press enter. What it does is like it will try to build the image from the Docker compose. So Docker compose holds the image name and what is which that is the Docker file and what is the container name, right? And uh, which port it has to expose, which WebSocket port it has to expose, and where the database has to get saved, where the logs has to get saved, and uh, what are the environmental files or where the environmental files are, right? And whether it should be restarted or not, right? So unless it is not stopped, it will be always running 24 bar seven. And those are the instructions uh, is what it will be having, right? So traditionally, if you would have seen that uh, the container is getting built, and it is going to take, in our case, it is going to take anywhere around uh, 60 to 78 seconds for the very first time. And once you build the container, next is like you can start the OpenAlgo service directly, right? So I, as I think like you can see like it, the container is getting built. Yeah, so you see that the container has been getting built now. Now what we are going to do is like we are going to go and run the container in the background mode so for that we're gonna go and uh, use the command docker compose hyphen uh, docker compose up hyphen d the hyphen d means we are running in a detached mode so which will be starting the docker in the background what does that means is uh, open algo has been started let me go to open algo so i'll go to 127.0.0.1 colon 5000 that is where our open algo is running if you could have seen the Docker, let me open the Docker, which is in a hidden mode. So I'll get it from my taskbar. You can see that the Docker is now uh, running the container. This is a live container. Anytime if I want, I can pass, I can start, restart, all those things I can be able to do from here. If, and if I don't want, I can stop and delete the container as well. Right? All the images you'll be able to see in the image section. Uh, this is the image. Using this image only, we are running the container now. Right? So that is why, that is the reason why OpenAlgo is now running. And uh, even if I close my VS code, you can see that still my application will be running. Right, I'm gonna go and uh, enter my credentials, which I had already created. So I enter my credentials, I enter into my uh, account, I'll enter my uh, credentials over here, right? And I'll be even able to place orders. I can uh, able to use it as my regular trading terminal. And it will be, the best part is, it will be running 24 bar seven. And if in case, if you want to know uh, whether what are the containers which are running right now, you can use the command docker ps. You can run it anywhere. You can see uh, what docker containers are running at this point in time, how long it has been up and running. So everything you'll be able to see over here, right? Now, one of the question, what majority of the traders they ask is like, what if I accidentally close this Docker desktop, right? So even if you close the Docker desktop, still you can see that the application will be running fine and uh, your automation will be going good because the, when you close the Docker desktop, basically it gets into the minimized state unless you uh, remove it from the taskbar or you kill from the taskbar. So unless otherwise, the application is going to run no matter what. Another question generally people ask is like, what happens if you restart your Windows PC? So when you're restarting your Windows PC, you have to ensure that you're also starting the Docker desktop. So when you launch the Docker desktop, automatically your Docker engine is up. If the Docker engine is up, your container will be automatically restarted. So that will bring OpenAlgo up. So whenever you are restarting your PC, ensure that you just simply open up the Docker desktop and just ensure that the Docker services are uh, running fine 
and the open algo is uh, open algo from the containers is in uh, started state you can also click back on the open algo try to check what are the logs is, is the logs are fine or not everything you can able to see from here and i guess that should be enough so that uh, that will help you to run open algo 24 bar 7 right so see you in an another video with more interesting content i hope you liked it thank you once again bye bye